Sometimes people forget that I'm just a reviewer. I don't work in the business. I'm not a manufacturer. None of those things. I'm not rich. I'm not a millionaire. I can't go around spending money on every Cuban link manufacturer just to make a video. I try my hardest, but it's quite difficult. It's not like buying a fragrance that costs 100 to 50 bucks or whatever, 300, 1,000. These are expensive pieces. So relationships mean anything, but let's be honest. I mean, this is a highly requested video on anything Cuban link. The name Las Villas always comes up. Whether positive or negative, they all want me to get my hands on one to see it. So I managed to borrow one so I can get a first-hand look and give it my true interpretation of what I feel of Las Villas Cubans. Let's roll my motherfucking music so we can take a glance at one of the Cuban links from Las Villas. I'm kind of a big deal. My beautiful peoples, you know who it is, it's your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. So the ones who are watching this video are probably the ones who have requested to see this video. Las Villas Jewelry, I believe it's somewhere in Miami. I don't know where their exact location is, but they're very popular online in the Cuban link space, which it's funny to even say the Cuban link space because before I started doing it, was there really like a big Cuban link space? Not tooting my own horn, I'm just saying. So now that's become a thing. Everybody's looking for the competitors to knock the next dude out of the box and to say, yo, this is the best in the world in their personal opinion. And that's cool. Listen, the little competition never hurt anybody. So I managed to get my paws on a Cuban link bracelet from Las Villas. Now, full disclosure, I do not own this. This is not brand new. This is a used trade-in that I borrowed. So with that being said, I can't give you full determination on how their finish is once it's freshly done out of the oven until I decide to personally purchase one. I can't tell you what the transaction process was as far as purchasing, what it comes in, how the presentation looks. I can't advise you on any of that. I can only do what I can do within my wallet. But on the flip side, I get to see what a long-term Cuban looks like, the wear and how it ends up, and maybe some of the pros and cons of the manufacturing and how these Cubans are made. Because everybody can hide under some pretty ass polishing, but when it really gets wear and it gets down to the nitty gritty, What's the long-term ramifications or durability of that Cuban? How does it look three, four, five months, years, whatever the case may be, after you wear this consistently? So it's a nice equilibrium and I think it's a decent balance. This is my personal opinion and you'll be able to see it as well so you can determine what's best suited for you. So the specifications of this, I'm gonna do, literally do it on camera. So this is a, oh, the measurements are a little all over the place so far. So I got 10-7, 10-5, 10-5, why is it 10-7 here? Maybe it's just my caliper, yeah. So, okay. So it's somewhere between 10 and a half and 10.7 millimeter. Yeah, at very least an eight inch Miami Cuban link bracelet from Las Villas Jewelry. Here's the stamping for those looking for it. And let me give you an up close shot. At first glance, I've gotten my hands on it so I can prepare for the video. I wanted just to be able to give it a good glance over and look. One of the first things that caught my attention about this bracelet is the weight. This feels, for a link that doesn't look that wide, that's somewhere between the space of 10.5 and 10.7, which is a you know, nice little gap there, but between 10.5 to 10.7, it has a nice weight to it. So one of the things I did pull out was my, my scale, just to get a perspective on what the actual weight of this piece is, because it was quite impressive of, of such a size and the weight, so I'm trying to see. It's 
So as you can see there, it's almost 80 grams, 79.1 grams. This is a, a beefy bracelet. I mean, it just feels substantial. It feels of a nice weight. Another thing that I need to point out is that the box lock, from my knowledge and my expertise, which is, you know, expertise, take that with a grain of salt, is that the box lock is casted. I'm not personally a fan of a casted box lock. I'll give you up close look so you guys can see and also give you a reason why I'm not a biggest fan of a casted box lock when it comes to gold Cubans. So here's an up close look of the box lock. You can see there kind of the well point and just a little bit of a gapping between the piece. So when you put the lock together, and this is just my thought process, you can kind of see how the box locks were casted. And my problem with box locks is this, the durability of this after time, it just, it loses tension. It's not uncommon. This isn't a Las Villas issue. This is an issue across the board. So this may have been, now you can see here that the pin is pushed all the way down. Now I can pull this up, which is tight actually. I can pull this up, which is unusual why that shit dropped the way it did. I can pull this up a little bit and maybe it's definitely gonna help in that locking. There you go. But it's still, you know, it's still gonna eventually drop down. Granted, I can pull this up a substantial amount and it's gonna clip on, but the durability, when you start having to pull on this to create that tension, to generate that tension, it doesn't last, it's just a band-aid. It's a temporary fix on a problem that's just gonna continue to happen. Again, this is a used piece, this isn't a brand new piece, so this is, I'm 100% sure that a brand new piece is never going to come like that. But this is again, a long-term interpretation of this particular bracelet. This doesn't automatically mean that all their pieces come like this and oh my God, it's a scam or whatever. Doesn't mean that. This is on this piece and not on all their pieces. So we gotta be here diplomatic. Now hang straight test. I wanna jump right into it and tell you that the bracelet does hang straight. One second, let this thing focus here. We'll do it here. The bracelet is hanging straight. Here, I'm trying to balance it accordingly to give you some focus aspect, but there you go. Hangs perfectly straight for the people who are utterly obsessed with the hang straight test. I wish I would have never mentioned the hang straight test. <laughs> Everybody's obsessed with the hang straight test, my lord. Another thing that I've noticed about this link is the file method of it. So the way that this link is filed, just is uh, maybe a little bit more traditional as it's a little bit thicker, it's a little bulkier, but it has this file that doesn't flare out, giving it the width that I'm used to and that I personally enjoy. This one seems almost kind of like a box kind of file. So if you look at the bracelet, it seems kind of on the verge of being like a box file link as opposed to flared out link, you know what I'm saying? That kind of has the edges. So we do a side-by-side -side comparison just for filing sake if you can see what I'm talking about. We're not talking about size, width, color, nothing. We're talking about the file, how these kind of just feel a little bit boxier, and this is kind of edged out a bit. Now the link construction and manufacturing. It's a solid link. It is a handsome link. I don't think it looks bad at all. I think it looks really nice, actually. I'm impressed by the link. I'm impressed by the weight. Uh, the file is not personally my cup of tea, to be honest with you. And this is just, again, personal preference. It's just, it feels a little bit narrower and I like a little bit of a more filed out edge. Again, personal preference. You can see the edges of the file, just so you can get an idea. Here's another look at the box lock. Again, this is a used piece. Regardless of the damage lock, again, used piece, the figure eights snap perfectly fine. They still have great tension on it. Again, great lock. And it's an overall handsome link. I don't think it's a bad link at all. It looks quite handsome. It looks very traditionalist. It's like old school kind of methods in the way that I like to interpret it. it. Has great mobility on the links, which is great. They're not stiff, they're not harsh. The links are filed and separated in a way that it has 
that great maneuverability, as I like to put it, because you can crumple it up and it goes back to where it's supposed to go. So they're constructed very well. I really don't have much issues with this link. The things that I point out are more like personal preference that I just don't love for me. Now, at first, the whole file thing, right? The whole way that the link is structured. I thought it was maybe this link. Maybe the person who purchased this link specifically asked for it to be filed that way. But I went to their website just to see some of the stock photos of their items. And I pulled up something that I felt was similar, which was a nine millimeter. So I was off. This is 10.5 and 10.76. I don't know why the, the difference is. I'm gonna try to blow up this picture so you guys can see that on this picture is very similar. Their stock photo doesn't look like this link was modified in any way. It looks like this is their format. This is their style. You can see there, it doesn't have that fanned out look. It just looks like everything else that they produce. So that's their stock. Another thing that I've noticed is the top part of the link versus the base of the link. The way the bottom part is have that, and maybe it's wear, maybe it's long-term wear. I don't know. The way that it's filed is that it's just this level of smoothness, which is great. I mean, but it, it just doesn't have that sharpness that I'm looking for that I, I, I like a sharp Cuban. This is definitely more on the bubblier end of the link. But again, side by side wise, if you guys can see that one's fanned out a little bit more than another, not having to do again with size, just file. In between the links, the weld points, um, for some who wanna see in between the links and weld points, that's just dirt. Um, welding, eh, it's not horrible. It's not amazing, but I mean, it's handmade, so. This is like OD nitpicking and just looking and showing you guys just for your own personal experiences and, and opinions to share. When it's handmade, you know, it's handmade. That's really what I gotta say. There's some that are better than others, but overall, there's no issues here as far as durability and this shit is not gonna fall apart on you. So here's the male portion of the lock. Do you see that there's some inconsistencies there, some heat points? You know, there's little things here and there that can be critiqued. All in all, I think they'd be a decent option. Uh, I can see why people like the link. I'm impressed by the heft of the link. That was just something that was very surprising to me, the heft of the link. If this were as a chain piece, it's not a bad link at all. I could see why people are hype on this shit and they like it. So I'm definitely gonna give the link kudos. So pros and cons. Love the weight, the substantial feeling that I get from the bracelet is, is very nice. The box lock, uh, not my style, L leaves to be desired. I'm not a casted lock dude because of the reasons that you can clearly see on this one. The file, uh, not my cup of tea personally. It seems a little bit too rounded off in my taste, but doesn't make the link bad. It's again, personal preference. The construction of the bracelet, the spacing of the links, very nicely done. I don't have any issues with that whatsoever. They got the spacing perfect in the way that, it, again, it just makes it very malleable, flexible, and just drops back right to the way it was. Little kink always happens, but all in all, it hangs straight for those who care. I think it's a nice link. Are they in my tops? Um, For you guys as a consumer, yeah, they can be up there in the tops for sure. For me personally, just because of the way the file is for me, and I'm keep going back to that because that's my, my taste. Uh, I'll put them in the top five for what I've seen. I think it's better than some major manufactured Cuban links for sure. So let me give you a wrist profile, which is gonna be a baggy ass wrist profile, but I'm absolutely glad I got to see this firsthand because it really gives me an idea of the type of skill that they put into and their type of craftsmanship when it comes to their style. Wrist profile.
overall, if I were gonna rate this on construction, uh, leaving out the box lock issue right now, which, you know, is a factor, but I'm leaving that out. I'm being, again, I'm being diplomatic. On a scale of one to 10, I would rate it 7.3. Personally, it'd be a 7.3, but that's just my personal opinion. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. Las Villas fan, I hope you guys are happy. Anybody who was purchasing from them, I hope you like the outcome and I hope you enjoy your piece and I'm sure they're gonna look amazing. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the game. Smooches. Fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, sweet on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you.